Hi everyone. Um, in this video, we're going to explore briefly the concept of a vector subspace. This is the problem that we're going to do. We're given these four um, different subsets of, of R3, and we are asked to um, figure out which of these is in fact uh, a subspace. So I'll give you a few moments to uh, tr try to do this on your own, and then please come back to see whether you are right. So hi again. OK. So before we start, let's briefly recall what a vector subspace is. Well, vector subspace, of course, it's a subset, um, in this case, a subset of R3. But it behaves like a vector space itself, meaning that uh, if we take a um, linear combination of elements in this subset, uh, what we get is still something in that subset. subset. OK, and in class, Professor Strang um, showed you a few specific examples of subspaces which are related to matrices. One of them was uh, the null space of a matrix, all the vectors that the matrix sends to zero, and the column space of a matrix, which is the span of um, the column of a matrix. OK, so let's see if we can apply what we've learned in lecture to, um, to our problem. Number one, we are given a linear e equation um, um, relation between uh, B1, B2, and B3. Um, once it, we have something linear, we, you know this is a philosophy that you'll learn in this class, we can always write this as a matrix equation. So in particular, B1 plus B2 minus B3 equals 0. We can just write it as the matrix 1, 1, negative 1 times B1, B2, B3 equal to 0. So therefore, B1, B2, and B3 precisely describe the null space of 1, 1, negative 1. And thus, what we are given in the first question is a subspace. What about the second one? Again, we are given a relation between B1 and B2 and B3, but it's not linear. B3 is the product of B1 and B2. So, right, the, your, your guts tell you that this shouldn't be a vector space. Um, and we need to, but we need to prove why. Um, OK, well, see, see that um, the vector 1, 1, 1 is inside this subset because the third entry is the product 1, is the product of 1 and 1. If the subset were a subspace itself, then we would have 2, 2, and 2 in it as well, right? Because any multiple of a vector in the subspace is inside the subspace. But is 2, 2, 2 described by this equation? Well, no, because the third entry 2 is not equal to 2 times 2, right? So the example, yeah, in, in, number, in number 2 is not a subspace. OK, let's try 3. And first, so we are given, so the subset in, in question 3 is given as the linear span of these two vectors. 1, 0, negative 1, and 1, 0, 1, plus the vector 1, 0, 0. OK? So let's think about this geometrically. We know that um, the linear span of two linearly independent um, vectors, and these are obviously linearly independent, is a plane in R3. So we have the plane, and we add a vector to the points of this, on this plane. So what if the vector were lying on the plane? Well, we're not going to change the plane, right? We're still going to remain in the plane. Uh, what I'm hinting at is the, is the following thing, that in fact, 1, 0, 0 is a linear combination of 1, 0, negative 1 and 1, 0, 1. And it's, it's fairly obvious to see 
which linear combination of these two vectors is. It is. It's 1 half 1 0 negative 1 plus 1 half 1 0 1. So we can write the whole relation here in the following way b1, b2, b3 is 1, 0, 0, which we can write as this, plus c1, 1, 0, 1, negative 1, and c2, 1, 0, 1. And let me continue this here. So b1, b2, and b3 is precisely c1 plus a half of 1, 0, 1, negative 1 plus c2 plus a half of 1, 0, 1. So indeed, the, the points b1, b2, and b3 are um, they are described by the linear span of 1, 0, negative 1, and 1, 0, 1. So it is a vector subspace itself. And finally, in order to, yeah, let's, let's look at number 4. So we have a similar situation. I mean, it's almost the same situation. We again have the linear span of precisely um, same vectors as in question 3, but this time we add the vector 0, 1, 0 to them. Now, 0, 1, 0 is not in the span of these two vectors. So the argument that we just showed for 3 doesn't work. Um, but what we, can, what, what we know about vector subspaces is the following thing. It follows almost trivially from the axioms that 0 needs to be inside the subset in order for it to be a subspace. It's a necessary condition. OK, well, this 0 um, is 0 inside this subset, meaning um, can we find coefficients c1 and c2 plus 0, 1, 0 to equal the 0 vector? And the answer is no. And why is this? We can, um, there's a very easy way to see it. Well, any, um, we just look at, yeah, we just look at the second entry uh, of, of the vectors and we see that any multiple, um, so the, the linear span of these two vectors will have as its second entry 0. And when we add it to 1, we can never get a 0 entry here. So the subset in 4 is not a subspace. So yeah, I hope this was useful in, in just getting an intuition which subsets of R3 are subspaces. Um, I'll see you guys later.